Hi friends, welcome to Creative DIY Purpose. Let's get into some thrift flips. Here are the tools and materials that I use for project number one, if you'd like to take a screenshot of them. I love this Lazy Susan. I purchased it last week at our local thrift store for only $2.99, but I feel that the top definitely needs a fresh new makeover. So I applied two coats of Dixie Belle paint in the color cotton, and I watered the paint down and lightly brushed it on to kind of give it a whitewash look. Now I'm going to use the Whispering Willow Transfers from IOD. And I picked out the mushroom and the greenery. I thought that they kind of complemented each other. And I love the combination of the boho kind of cottage core vibe that these two transfers gave this thrifted piece. I do find that with these transfers, the biggest challenge that I have is trying to catch an edge up to be able to pull off that plastic towards the end after you have applied the transfer. So I think in the future, I'm, I'm gonna have to not cut it so close to the transfer and leave a little bit more of that plastic edge on, maybe a little bit up over the side of a piece. So that way there's something to grab hold of. With the larger transfers, I found that it's a little bit easier, at least for me, to do small sections at a time and then lift it up and continue on to the next section. Since I am fairly new using the transfers, let me know if you have any tips and tricks to share with me. After I remove the backing, I do take it and rub it all over the transfer to make sure that the transfer is completely laid flat and that there's no bubbles. Next, I will apply three coats of the Krylon Spray Sailor in the matte finish. Also, I want to let you guys know I did leave the bottom natural. I think it came out nice like that. What do you guys think? In a few days, I'll be adding this piece over on my booth. And if you remember the video from a couple weeks ago where I used that same plant transfer onto the wicker basket, that piece sold last week. All right, so for project number two, we're gonna be working on a piece that I did back in a video about a year ago. And I'll link that video on to the end of this one. Do you guys remember this beautiful wooden frame? And this is what it looked like after the projects. I accidentally dropped it and cracked that big frame in the center. So I took it apart and currently have that larger center piece um, being glued and repaired. You'll see that in next week's video. Next, I take a sheet of cardstock because I want to have a backing for each of my photo frames. So I'm going to cut two of these oval pieces out. Next, I take two transfers from the Whispering Willows transfer set. And I picked these little flowers. I think they're my favorite out of this set. And I'm just cutting around because we're going to be adding those on to two cut out pieces of brown paper bag. So we're going to be cutting these out with the same oval shape that we used on the cardstock. So I'm gonna just use that as a pattern. So we're gonna cut out two of those, one for each frame, and then cut both of them out. Before I move on to the next step, I wanna make sure that they fit. So I place the brown paper bag inside, and then I'm gonna add that cardstock backing over the back and trim with a pair of scissors where it's needed. I wanna add a little interest to the brown paper bag so I'm using an ink stamp that has some French script written on it. I think it's so beautiful. I'm not sure if my work surface wasn't level, but I could not get the stamp to print out all over the entire bag. So it's kind of faded and vintage looking, and I was okay with that. Um, I could have just taken the brown paper bag and gone up over the top of the ink stamp, but I'm going to leave it the way that it is now. And I'll apply the flower transfer right on to the brown paper and then repeat that process on the next one. Next, I placed both images inside of the picture frame to make sure that they fit properly. Then taking a regular glue stick and we're going to adhere that image on the brown paper bag right onto the cardstock. Then just using my fingers to make sure that it's all smoothed out and there's no wrinkles. Then repeating those steps for the second image. Then I use Mod Podge, but you could use any type of liquid glue to adhere the image right into the picture frame. You guys will have to let me know what you think of this project. I think it's just another different option that we have for upcycling some photo frames. 
All right, and for the next project, I've got another fixer upper from a previous project. See the candlestick in that video, which I will link at the end of this one. I dropped it and it broke. So I'm going to flip it upside down and turn it into a pedestal. I took a seven inch wood round that I purchased at Walmart for a dollar, the same kind of wood round that we used in last week's video. I painted it with two coats of the cotton, color paint from Dixie Belle. I did use some fine grit sandpaper to smooth along the edges. And now I'm gonna take that French script ink stamp and just stamp it all over the entire circle. Next, I'm gonna take the Dragonfly ink stamp from IOD Rose 12, and we're gonna add that right on to that one spot where it's a little faint. Next up, taking the fine grit sandpaper again, I think this was maybe around a 180, along the edges and anywhere that I wanted that ink to be a little more faded like the rest. All right, now for my broken candlestick holder. Look at that, you guys. I couldn't believe that happened. So I did smooth it out using my orbital sander. So that way, when I go to glue that wood piece on, you know, it would be nice and sturdy. Originally, I believe that I had used the Waverly white wax on this piece, and remember, which tends to have an off-white appearance. In the meantime, I did purchase some DIY white wax. So I'm gonna go over the candlestick and just give it a nice refresh. I did add a dragonfly stamp on there and used E6000 glue to glue this piece on. And I love the way it turned out. I'm so happy that I was able to salvage that broken candlestick. So next we're gonna be working on two different scrap wood projects and a redo of that wooden sign from this video, which I will link up above. I used a water slide decal on this piece, if you guys remember. And I don't know if I had too much water underneath, but it became discolored. Um, and you could really see where the water slide decal was placed on there. So I added two coats of buttercream paint from Dixie Bell after I made sure that the piece was sanded very well and that that water slide decal was completely removed. That transfer you're gonna find on the Whispering Willow set. And next, I'm taking the type setting stamps from the IOD set using some lowercase letters to stamp out the word spring. And my eye got stuck and then I had to restamp that dot over the top of the eye. Then I went along the edges and tried to bring out some of that wood tone from underneath that paint. I'll add two coats of the Krylon spray sealer in the matte finish and two hooks on the back for someone to be able to hang it. Now this next wood block was just a scrap piece um, and I think it's got a couple layers of paint on, on it. I did add a fresh coat of the cotton, use some sandpaper along the edges to bring out some of the black paint that was underneath it. On this one, we're gonna stamp out the word plants and we're gonna add that little leaf and that is from the Whispering Willow set as well. My booth is right next to a bunch of beautiful plants. So anything that is plant related sells well in my booth. And again, I'll add two to three coats of the Krylon spray sealer. And this is a quick and easy project that only takes a few minutes to complete. If you don't have any wood scraps laying around the house, maybe you can find something small and some wood blocks from a thrift store or even the Dollar Tree store or Hobby Lobby. Here's another super quick and easy project. I took some of the Dixie Belle paint in the color cotton, watered it down, applied it to the terracotta pots, and I used some fine grit sandpaper to expose some of that clay color, which I think is a really nice contrast, I'm using two of the mushroom transfers from the Whispering Willow set. And one thing that I should have done on a curved surface, I do recommend using some of the painter's tape. The frog tape works really well and it doesn't peel back any of the already existing paint. I have to remember to use it next time, it would make it easier. And then I just added two coats of the Krylon spray sealer. And then to put them on display in my booth, I didn't have a plant or anything to go with it. So I, so I thought I'd try adding some paper shreds. All right, on to the next project, this wooden napkin holder. It just needs a refresh, purchase it from a thrift store for $1.99. So I did use some fine grit sandpaper to get off some of the varnish on the top, added two coats of 
the paint from Dixie Bell and the color cotton. And you guys, everything I put this napkin on <laughs> sells in my booth. So why not just keep going with the good thing? I made sure that it was only one ply of the napkin. I tore all along the edges and I did this twice because I want to apply this image onto the front and the back using a thin layer of Mod Podge to put the napkin right onto the napkin holder. You can smooth it out with some plastic cling wrap. I just had a piece, I think, off of one of the transfers, and I just used that to smooth it out. I'm okay if it's got a little bumps. I think it does add some interest, and it also makes it nice because after that glue dries on there, you can go over it with some fine grit sandpaper and get a little distressed look. After it's had a chance to dry, I do apply three coats of the Krylon Spray Sealer in a matte finish, and I think that this came out pretty cool. I think it's a simple way to update an old piece that you find at a thrift store. So this week I took me three hours and I had to do a complete booth reset. And I just wanted to show you guys this antique chair transformation. I, I had the chair up for sale for $9.99 and it sat in my booth because there was a hole in the caning in the center. So what I did is use a knife to cut a complete circle out and tuck that little flower pot in the center. And I just think that it came out really neat. Used some IOD stamps. Of course, I used some Dixie Bell paint. Gave it a little weathered look. And I will let you guys know if it sells. I apologize about the dark lighting. But I just wanted to show you guys how I went over it with a white dry brush. And I believe the color that I used from Dixie Bell is French linen. If you're interested in purchasing any Dixie Bell products, be sure to contact my friend Gail over at The Hive. And she is willing to ship your order out. I will put her link in the description box below. There's just a quick peek um, from the my back shelves. And I realized I didn't need to go in and fix my banner. Next week, I'll show you guys how I did that strawberry stool. And a couple of those items um, sold right after I had left. All right, so here's the two videos that I promised you guys. If you want to click on either one of those or both of them. And I want to thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this video and have a super blessed week, you guys. God bless you.